I'm back! So, for today, I'm going to make a uh, makeup look na naman, obviously. <laughs> so, for today, I'm going to um, show you how to achieve this makeup look. This makeup look is uh, actually good for night out. Uh, zoom in ko lang, tapos papakita ko sa inyo yung itsura niya. So, yes, that's how it looks like. Tapos, yun ito. So, ito, pang party, usually at night. This is a very, para sa akin, ha, heavy makeup talaga. Heavy makeup look. So, this is what I'm going to recreate on my right eye. And, uh, of course, I'll show you the purpose of this video. I'll show you how to do it. So, Lego, and let's start um, applying eyeshadow makeup on our right eye. So, Lego. Hi guys! So, let's get it on na nga. Um, lalapit na ako kasi ang raming comment dun sa mga previous videos ko na mahina daw yung boses ko or masyado ako malayo. Hindi nila makikita yung ginagawa ko. So, kaya malapit na malapit na tayo. <laughs> so, let's start first with our brawl. I'm using again the this one the Ever Belena again Bromatic nila Bromatic waterproof Bromatic chapos. Ito yung itsura niya. So I'm gonna use this for my key light. So yes, yan. Ang malapit na talaga sa inyo yung paano ko ginaga. So as you can see ho, um, I'm just following the shape of my bro kasi ho na shape ko na siya. So, I'm just following my brows. Ho. Tapos, fill in nyo lang yung sa gitna. Ganun lang. Ano man yung, ano, parang kayo lang ginagawa. Fill in nyo lang yung, ano yun, brow nyo. Kung may mga lagpas kayo, don't worry. Kasi ho, eh, Lilinisan pa naman natin to ng concealer. So, again, para po dito, eh, huwag masyadong makapal or kasi we're going for the gradient effect. Fill in lang ulit. Yan. So, para hindi naman patchy ho, eh, tingnan nyo rin kung saan kayo may kulang. Huwag din naman sumobra. So, afterwards, eh, kukuha tayo ng spoolie, tapos i-blend out natin konti para naman may yun nga ho, yung gradient effect. Tapos, we will check if pantay sila sa kabila. Yes, pantay naman. So, comb ko lang yung hair ko dito. Tapos, para naman, grow hair ko. Para naman, eh, mag, may runs. Yung, they're going on the same direction. So, yes, I'm done with my kilay. Lilinising ko na lang ho siya. Tapos, if you fill out ko to dito, kasi ang pangat naman ng gradient effect na nang nangyari. Kasi, tingnan nyo naman ho sa malayo o naman lang din sa malapitan kung anong itsura niya pag nasa malayo na. So, yun. I think, pantay naman sila. Anyway, lilinisin ko pa to. We're going to get our concealer. Again, ang gagamitin kong concealer is ito. Gusto ko siyang gamitin basta sa eyes yung says lady na concealer. Kanyan yung huro yung itsura niya. Says lady na concealer. Kanyan lang huro yung itsura niya. Ito usually yung ginagamit ko pag sa mata. Pero pag sa mukha, eh, mas prefer ko gamitin yung ano, yung BYS na concealer. So, we're going to again get product from here. 
lang tayong konti. And we're gonna use a an angled brush. Kaya na naman mag -zoom in. So, yan. Basta angled po siya. Yan ho. Ang itsura niya. As you can see. Pasensya na ho kayo eh. Cellphone lang ho ginagamit ko pang record. <laughs> but anyway. I've got some product already and I'm going to just follow the line. Tapos, slowly lang ho tayo. Oh my god. Slowly, tapos, lugtong mo lang lahat afterwards. Like so, tapos dun na naman tayo sa taas. Kasi kailangan pakak na pakak yung ano natin. Yung hello. This is makeup talaga. If you're going to go for the... You're going out at night. This is like the nightclub or yung party party at night. Ano, bar. Kaalagala at night. Kailangan... Hello, may makeup ako. Ganun. Kumakawa yung makeup mo. So, I hope I'm not covering. Oh, kaya yung kabel. Okay. Sige lang. Tapos, i-blend me lang yung concealer afterwards. Again, kung may narilimig kayong bata, alam niyo ko. Mga anak ko. So, pretty much happy with this one. Ganyan ho. So, blend na natin yung concealer. Again, yung concealer, yung nasa taas, i-blend niyo lang pataas. Like so. Kung kumakaway ang puti-puti ng concealer niya, natural lang huwian, wala pa po tayong foundation na nilalagay. Ganyan ako. Blend niyo lang sa ganyan. Oh my God, I ruined it. Anyway, ayusin ko lang. Tapos dito naman ho sa baba, eh, ganun lang ho. Drag down niyo lang. Kasi gagamitin natin yung concealer na ito sa ating ID. So, yung kunwari yung nangyari sa akin, tingnan niyo naman, nasira ko yung kilay ko, eh, yun eh, ganun talaga ho, magkakamali. Ganun niyo lang ho. Kalo niyo lang ulit, tapos match konti. Tapos, kunin niyo yung si spoolie, para maayos. Spoolie, this one is the spoolie. Actually, ito yung ginagamit ko before na pang, ano, pang kilay. Gusto ko pang sa care line. Kasi hindi na, hindi na ako nakahanap eh. COVID din, hindi ka makapunta sa mga malls. Kaya, yung nakuha ko eh sa Everbelena. Which is actually good naman. But I prefer this one from Careline. Kasi may spoolie na siya doon sa sa end. Tapos mas gusto ko tong spoolie nila compared to yung spoolie na nakukuha mo sa nabibili mo. So fix touch up ko lang yung kilay ko ho. Kasi na damage ko siya. Fill out nila. And there is your kilay. Kumakaway na si kilay, di ba? Bongga na. So, isipin nyo, nasa kalab kayo, medyo, you know, yung mga lights doon, hindi kasing bonggang ganitong lights. Pero, um, lumalaban talaga yung kilay. So, let's go to the next. Kilay pa lang, 10 minutes na. So, guys, um, eyeshadow na tayo. Tapos na tayo sa kilay natin. Um, we're going to use the eyeshadow palette from Careline. Ito yung itsura. And it is called Slumber Party. They actually, um, this cost around 180 pesos. Pero, bongga naman yung pigmentation. Kita nyo, di ba? Bongga naman yung pigmentation at saka yung shimmer. Pet ko naman. And I'm, it does the work for 180 pesos. Correct me if I'm wrong, baka nagiba na yung price. I got this from their shop sa Lazada. Tatlo to actually. I ordered the bundle that they have for these three palettes. Sabi nila bago daw to from Caroline. But anyway, we're going to use this one. Ang uh, una natin gagamitin, eh, yung of course, transition shade natin. Saka natin, we will go, um, we will start with the lightest before we go to the dark colors. So, um, first one na gagamitin natin kulay is this one. So, I'm using a round brush, by the way. Round brush. Like shot. So, start. So, let's, let me get my mirror first. So, 
again, let's start. Ganito lang ho. Remember po, dub, dub, dub lang ho. Dub, dub, dub. Para hindi ko kayo mahirapan. Sa pag, if you don't, you're not so confident in blending pa. See? si the pigmentation po, guys. At mura lang siya. And it will be the work. Oh, by the way, nilagay ko na ho yung concealer, excess concealer, sa eyelids ko. Bago ko pa nilagay ito. Linis ko lang maigi yung kilay ko. So, again, dab, 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 tapos blend yun lang mo. Like so. And that's it for our transition color. Tapos, eh, susunod natin kulay. Eh, yung darker brown na. So, before we go there, the darkest brown, ito muna yung gagamitin natin. Get some of the products. Because again, in, unlike the transition shade na ganun siya, but here, you start parang sa low. Baba lang ng crease nyo. Right, so, let's dab, dab, dab ulit. Dab, dab lang ho. Tapos, blend yun na. So, next, we're going to go na ho sa dark brown. I'm going to use this. This color here. Tapos, ipofocus ko to sa area dito lang ho. Dito lang. At tapos, i-blend ko to sa low, sa crease line ko. Again, dab-dab lang tayo. Tapos, just follow your crease. Tapos, slowly ho, i-build natin itong pagka-dark niya. Since we're going to use black, kailangan ho talaga eh, medyo kumakaway yung dark na tones niya. Kumakaway siya na, hello, I'm dark. Ganun na. So, again, we're gonna put the same brown color ho. And, hanggang dito ko lang ko siya yan. Once you're done, pretty much happy with this one. Huwag kayo mag-alala if you have ano ho dito, excess. Again, lilinisin pa po natin yung mukha natin. Once you're done with this one, we're going to go for the black color. But for the black color ho, eh, ibang brush ho yung ginagamit ko. And again, don't forget, bago ho kayo pupunta sa ibang color, eh, linisan niyo muna yung brush niyo ng isang clean cloth bago kayo jump bago kayo pupunta rin sa ibang color. Kukuha. For this one, eh, mas gusto kong gamitin yung ganitong brush. Pakita ko lang, ha? Medyo may angle siya, eh. As you can see. Pero eyeshadow brush pa rin naman, ho. May angle lang na konti. Yun. Yun. Ganon. So, I'm going to use this one para sa black. Ayan. Tapos, for the black color, eh, ipofocus ko lang siya dito. Dito, ho. Tapos, eh, ismudge ko siya, or i-blend ko siya konti dito. Para meron hong effect mamaya yung cut crease natin. Tapos, i-blend nyo lang ho siya. Dab, dab, dab dito ho. Tapos, i-blend nyo siya. Kasi, mas gusto ko gamitin tong angle brush. Kasi, pag ganun ko, hindi siya aabot dito unlike the round brush. Hanggang dito lang talaga siya. Which I'm aiming for. So, i-blend ko lang ho siya hanggang dito. Kasi, mamaya sa cut crease ko, may effect yung dark na color pag lalagay na ako ng concealer. At meron din siyang fallout sa kikita niyo naman. Etong Careline na palette ho e eh, ano ho siya? Powdery. Powdery ho siya. 
nagka-expect fallouts. Pag itong ginagamit ko, kaya rin mas preferable ko pong mag-eyeshadow muna bago mag-foundation eh dahil ho sa mga fallouts. Mahirap maglinis ang mukha. Kaya mas gusto kong unahin yung eyeshadow. So, as you can see, may effect na ho siyang nangyayari. May kaganapang epekto na ho siya. Again, I will get the black. Tapos, eh. Dadab ko lang ho siya dyan. It looks so messy po talaga until you've reached until you've reached your cut crease na. Pag nandun na ho kayo sa cut crease niya eh. Malilinisan ho lahat yan. I'm blending it all the way naman ho eh. Nakikita niyo naman. Kasi mamaya for the cut crease, meron po talaga siyang effect na mangyayari. That's why I'm doing this. So, build up nilang hulong kulay. And for this po, syempre makikita nyo, it's so harsh line. What you're going to do there is, kumuha po kayo ulit ng brown, na yung dark brown na ginamit mo. Tapos, i- o combine yung hulong dyan. Para yung effect niya hindi masyadong harsh line. So, ipiblend mo lang yung brown sa black para yung smoky effect mo dyan talaga. Tapos, iblend mo lang po siya with the other colors para wala namang harsh line. Like so. Kukuha rin ako ng brown eh. Lilinisin ko konti yung ginawa kong cut crease na uh, ano ho, yung ginawa ko sa itim. As you can see naman po kasi sa kabila eh. Yun. Don't worry. Masyado po po talaga siyang pangit tingnan. <laughs> But, don't worry ho. Pag mag-apply na po tayo ng cut crease eh, malilinisan po yung lahat. Ah, umabot pa dito. Malilinisan po muna. Marami kasi siyang fallouts. Ang sagitan niya. Worry for now kasi liginisan natin yung sa mano. As, as you can see ho, ang pangit ho ng blending ng edge. Eh, huwag kayong mamublema kasi mamaya i-lift po natin yan. So, mawawala yan lahat. So, i-blend ko lang po yung mga colors. May napansin ako. So, i-build up ko lang ulit yung brown. Dadab ko lang siya on top of the black that I have created. brown pa dito para dab dab lang ho para mawala yung mga harsh edges tapos dab then blend dab then blend yun lang ho yung technique yun yun diba so dadagdagan ko pa ng contest hanggang dito kasi yung ginawa ko na black side so, dapat gawin ko rin sa kabila para mamaya eh mabiblend na siya sa half cut crease kasi ito yung ginawa ko hindi full hindi full na cut crease. Half lang ho pa rin. Dadab-dab-dab ko lang ho yung black na color dito sa outer corners ng line. Ah, ay, beads ko. Yan ho. 
Now we are going to do the cut crease. Ang sa cut crease naman ho eh, kukunin ko yung ganito, yung flat brush. At kukuha ako ng concealer. Ganito. Maliit siya na flat brush at medyo mahaba. Ito yung gusto kong gamitin. Anything, any flat brush ko na meron kayo na maliit, that would really do the job for your cut crease. So, ito ho eh, kukuha ko ako ulit ng product and the concealer I am using is the, the same the says lady ho na concealer paano pa ho mag cut crease yun yung usual tanong ng iba especially sa hooded eye people kagaya ko well what I do is yung sinasabi nilang lagyan dito tapos look up ka daw yun na daw yung cut crease mo yun lang ho yun lang din huro yung pina-follow ko. Yun, as you can see. Actually, dito sa kabila, eh, mahaba, ram, mahaba din naman yung cut crease na ginawa ko. Pero not as haba ng isang to. As you can see, it doesn't actually work for all people na lagyan nila dito tapos, tapos, eh, ano na, yung magic na. <laughs> parang, oh yun na, yun na yung gauge ng cut crease mo. Hindi ho sa lahat ng tao nag-work yun. Kasi sa akin naman eh, okay naman ho yung eyelids ko, for me. But the problem is, sometimes pag nagka-cut crease ka, eh, fix ko lang, touch up ko lang ho. Yung nagka-cut crease ka, eh, parang OA na ho yung pagka-cut crease niya. So, ang ginagawa ko ho, kunwari ganito, I just look at like that. Tapos, if I follow ko lang mo ito, ito, yan. There. As you can see. If I follow ko lang mo yan. From here, ho, eh, aangat ko siya, follow ko siya. Pawin ko lang din yung piece ko. Since half lang yung gagawin natin. Tapos, make sure mo lang din na yung ginawa mong ha, ano, cut crease eh okay ho yung pagkakalain nyo sa concealer nyo kasi hindi naman ho pangit tingnan. Kasi makikita ho talaga yan. As much as you could ho eh straighten nyo yung cut crease na ginawa nyo. Hanggang dyan lang ho ako magka-cut crease. Yan ho ang cut crease. Tapos yun ho, eh, blend yun lang ho dito. Ganyan ho, ang pagka-cut crease. If follow nyo lang ho yung, kunwari, ganun lang kayo. Tapos kung saan ho yung medyo yung enclosure nung double eyelid nyo, eh, dun nyo lang ho ilagay yung cut crease nyo. Para hindi naman ho yung sobrang cut crease. Depende ho yun sa makeup do. Kung what are you aiming for. Pero I'm okay with this. Hindi pa naman ho tayo yung abot sa yung pang pageant pageant ho na makeup. But I'm very okay with this one. And so, as you can see naman ho, ito ho yung effect na sinasabi ko. Pag naglagay ho kasi kayo ng dark, tapos nag-cut crease kayo, parang maha-highlight, mas, mas ma-highlight lalo yung cut crease niya. So, we're going to go for the shimmer na. The shimmer that I'm going to use is this one. It has a an effect ko kasi na parang greenish or basta sparkly effect ko. For this one, I'm going to use a flat brush. A flat eyeshadow brush. So, you can see for the shimmer. Tapos, yung shimmer ho, eh, ilalagay ko lang kung saan yung cut crease na ginawa ko. Get more product. 
okay naman ho yung shimmer ng palette na to. But the thing is ho, eh, powdery nga. Marami siyang masyadong fallouts. Tapos lalagyan ko pa po ito ng black eyeshadow para medyo may gradient effect po siya, siya sa shimmer. Para hindi po yung obvious yung concealer natin. What I'll do is just I'll get the black eyeshadow using my hands. Tapos ito tap tap ko lang siya sa shimmer. Ganun mo. Para hindi naman po yung effect ng shimmer na parang halatang halata. So, ipapantay ko lang yung siya sa kabila. Yan. Okay. Hanggang dito. Yan po. Now, eh, maglalagay na tayo na liquid eyeliner. So, um, I'm using the same liquid eyeliner. It is from Says Lady pa rin, no? Ang um, kanilang eyeliner waterproof. Eh, ganito yung tsura niya. Yan ho. So, for this one, since for night out, what we're going to do is, medyo hahabaan natin yung hahabaan natin yung eyeliner natin. Still ho, if a follow ho ninyo ito, but medyo malaki-laki yung ano natin. Like so. Then you go for connect me na lang ho sa like so. Ganun lang ho. So, i-fill out ko lang tong eyeliner ko. For here po eh, medyo ho makapal kasi we're going to use a unlike the other one na for simple makeup. For this one ho eh, kakapalan ho natin yung ng konti yung eyeliner dito sa inner corner ng eyes natin. Kasi we're going to use false lashes. Tapos since night makeup hindi man huto eh kailangan din nag-hello si eyeliner. Kaya ako kakapala natin ng konti. Tapos, eh, kukumbay nyo na ho doon sa eyeliner. Like, so. Hayaan nyo lang ho, eh, itong mag-dry. Tapos, lalagay ko na yung falsies ko. And we are done for this one. Oh, almost forgot talaga. For the lower, for the lower, ano ho, as you can see, para may smoky, smoky effect po talaga. For the lower lash line, all you need to do is get a flat brush. Like so. Tapos, kukuha ka ng darkest brown na ginamit mo, which is this one. I chose this color pala. All these colors. I chose this kasi ho, bagay hutong color na to. I-apply nyo lang sa lower lash line. Bagay hutong color na pinili ko sa kahit anong skin tone. Pwede, kung morena ka, maputi ka, o kay hutong ano, shades sa inyo. This fits all skin colors. So, after putting the darkest brown, eh, you get the black. Tapos, i-apply nyo lang, nyo lang yung black more closer to your eye, lower lash, lower lashes. Also. We're not all the way who yung black. Hanggang dito lang siya sa gitna. And what you're gonna do, you clean your brush again. Tapos, blend-blend lang ho. 
blend mo siya sa brown para smoky smoky effect don't worry about this one we're gonna clean it out then lastly eh ilalagay mo yung shimmer nakutanggal na nga yung shimmer ko sa kabila lalagyan ko nga para pantay so ilalagay mo yung shimmer na ginamit mo dito para yun diba effect mo the shimmer would brighten up your eye tapos dun sa inner corner nyo lagay nyo rin yung shimmer like so itonggal na nga sa kabila eh ito ako kung lagyan ko Ayan na naman si Salamin kung napakaganda. So, I'm just going to apply my falsies. Tapos, ililinisin ko to. And we are done with this makeup. Papakita ko lang. I'm just going to put falsies. Then we're done you will have your make, uh, uh, night out makeup look. And I'm also going to do a separate video para how you should contour at night at applying foundation na din. The face makeup. I'll be doing a separate video for that. Kasi mahasyado na kung mahabang video nito. So, I'm just gonna clean it up. Put false, made, uh, false lashes. And I'll show you at the end of this video with the foundation on kung anong itsura niya. So, thank you so much. Be right back. So, hi guys. I'm back. See? Bongga na. Falsies. Napaka kahirap maglagay ng falsies. But anyway. Napaka magigitan. I got these falsies sa uh, Sace Lady. Namiss ako. I got this for 99 pesos. Tapos, ano na sila? Ganito sila karami. Kasi yung chant nila, pinuputulan ko kasi yung falsies ko. Kaya, kasi for me, masyadong malaki. Yung, ano niya, yung, ano mismo. Yung length. So, there you go, guys. Here's the finished look for the night makeup. So, I'll just give you a montage. So, there it is. So, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll be sharing you with the end of, uh, by the end of this video a complete look um, once I also applied the uh, face makeup and how to contour and uh, to blush, to put some lipstick on uh, for a night out. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click the notification bell for more updates when I upload new videos. At kung meron kayong request na anong makeup ang gusto nyo or anything, just comment down below po. So, adios! Thank you so much for watching!